in the beautiful state. No, that's a country, ain't it? We're in the beautiful country of Canada, somewhere. I kind of woke up like last week and was like, yeah, I want some exotic maple syrup. So we drove all the way to Canada. We're in a first gen, but it's not my first gen. Well, it could be, but it's not my first gen. Speaking of my first gen. You guys only have two weeks left to get on to win my 1993 D250. With a hood stack 12 valve Cummins, 22 by 12 American Forces wrapped in brand new No 420Vs. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description today to get entered. Super simple. And stay tuned because on November 6th, we'll be announcing the winner live on my Instagram. Good luck to everybody and enjoy the rest of the video. Anyways, why are we in Canada, you ask? Besides maple syrup, I've never seen a moose before and I really like log cabins. What's their last name? Wheat, corn, corn, so soybean. I think their last name is soybean. Corey and Hannah Soybean, their last name is Wheat. Uh, they have like a bunch of trucks. Well, so I've heard. Corey just keeps coming home with like new things like every week and for the past like, how many years have they been together? 10 years? Oh my God. Corey's like me, he doesn't know when to say no. So he just keeps buying things. He stacks trucks on top of each other because he doesn't have any enough room. He has like a thousand acres too and he still doesn't have enough room for all these trucks. He has like 17 boats. Sounds like a cool guy, so we're gonna go over there and hang out with him. And his wife, Hannah, has like one of the nastiest dualies I've ever seen in my entire life. I saw their truck in Texas at this Lone Star Dodon show, and I bought myself twice. Look at the freaking fall. The fall in Canada is just so pretty. Wow. We're not in Canada, by the way. We're totally in Indiana, but you know, it's the internet. I can say whatever I want. I wonder which house is his. It might, uh, yeah, I think we're in the right place. Uh, yeah, we might be, might be in the right, we might, might be in the right place. That's a nice second gen, definitely in the right place. Puppies! There's more, oh my god, like it's, it, there's, there's literally trucks stacked on top of each other. You know, I set my alarm for seven, and then I like rolled over for five seconds and then turned back over and it was 11.30. I'm always late to everything. You guys need it. Got the shag carpet interior. <laughs> shag carpet interior. It's a little dirty. I ate a banana in there this morning. It just needs to be manual. It does need to be manual. We have to leave best for last. So we'll just give a little hint. And then we'll just talk about all your other stuff first. My name is Corey and I own a junkyard in my yard. <laughs> all right. Uh, MTV Cribs, MTV but... Cribs. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> something like that. This is my favorite part, actually. These lights right here. Those are dope. A hot water heater. Oh my. Bed, That's all you need. And a AC unit missing a vent. We decided to patina it. So Corey's grandma, when we first got this done, she looked in here. She goes, "Now what are you doing with the roof <laughs> or with the ceiling?" And we're like, "We just put that in there." She yeah. goes, "It looks real nice." There's the forklift that smashed your oh, truck. Mm. The famous forklift. He even made t-shirts about it. So, me and Cole had this like truck show last year. Oh, this year. It was like two months ago. It feels like last year. Cole was like talking this whole time. He's like, yeah, there's this other diesel Jeep and, and I'm going to gap it. This is the Jeep yeah. that he gapped. Corey Cornfield. Corey, Corey, Corey Cornfield. Cornfield. Corey yeah. Cornfield Customs. So this is Redemption 2011 Jeep with a 12 valve and we're getting ready to body swap it with that 41 Dodge. So what? No more. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. You would know stuff. So. <laughs> uh. You know, I don't like Jeeps, but I like your guys' Jeeps. <laughs> well, I'll sell you the body. I don't want it. <laughs> I had this one done first, then Cole did his, but then... I figured I'll ease up on Cole and just take mine out of the picture. Yeah. So then he can be the coolest Jeep. Yeah. And I'll just wipe myself, clear the board. Hannah. What? You tell about something. It's a 41 Dodge. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but the patina on this is like perfect. I love it. We wouldn't do anything different. We're just going to. You're literally just going to take the body and throw it on that? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. how the way yeah, you just said I mean, it sounded really simple. Isn't it like a day, like process, like half hour and. Like you'll have it on before lunch. 45 minutes. Yeah. The crack trans is yeah, in the Yeah, so one. I woke up yesterday and I realized all this oil on the back. And I was like, no, that's, it's healthy. What is going on here? And then I crawled underneath of it and the whole back of the transmission is cracked. Between the transmission. See it better. Oh, yeah, I found it. Oh my. Yeah, that is definitely cracked. Started with a screwdriver. <laughs> Everyone's 
like, oh, that's so 1990s or 2000s, the flames. Yeah, I dig them. I was born in 93, so. <laughs> the next truck that I have will have this exact, in you want to sell this interior? I don't like leather. Yeah. What'd you do? Why'd you point out That's this? Corey. Yeah, Corey did it? I, I was, was even driving. I was... The, he, what I'm is your problem? You were grounded from the forklift. You just keep <laughs> hitting all of her nice stuff. <laughs> you, you... I don't know. She's... I think she's winning right now. Yeah. Her trucks are just way nicer than yours. They are. I figured it out. He's jealous because all of his, her trucks are nicer than his. So he keeps smashing them with the forklift. You know, you might be on. <laughs> this is uh, the Golden Nugget. The Golden valve. Nugget. Yes. 12 valve, automatic, clapped. Forklift damage. Uh, see? No, I'm no. telling you, man. I was moving a uh, frame and it got away from me and it went all the way down the hill and hit the Golden Nugget. I'll fix this problem right now. Yeah. You need to stop putting things at the bottom of the hill and have everything important at the top of the hill and only use the forklift in that, in that field. <laughs> Beaver Crossing. Beaver Crossing? Yeah, it says it on the door. No way. <laughs> 72 International Lodestar chassis. It is for sale. I don't need it. Get the, it going. The rest of the truck's in there. For sale, five million dollars. Mm -hmm. And it, it's yours. Sure. I'll split it with you. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? It's like sneak peek of the motor. Easy access. Yeah. yeah so See, like... I need this because it's my it's always breaking. And then you, you could just like fix it. Yeah. Well, my plan was wedge truck out of it. Uh -huh. And then when we go to shows, you put like merch in here well that but would be sick this will be our new shop truck nice one day it fits so, in i bought it for a donor truck that white truck is going to be under this truck oh okay so this, this and this are the same yeah. nice this this go together sick this six liter is not ours uh yeah i was gonna say what the f we ran out of room in our little junkyard so we had to start stacking oh them. oh yeah the yeah. mail truck duh i mean why would you not have a flatbed <laughs> to put other trucks on exactly That's, it's Come just on. efficient well i would eventually like to find a little jetta Ooh. Yeah, or a Mercedes, because those are kind of cool, too. <laughs> and then put it, like, put that body on that. A mail, a diesel mail truck? Yeah. Frickin'... And then, like, have a mail box, a little flap, whenever oh, you get on it. That'd be pretty sick. that's where the... Heck yeah, I, I like that. Say, like, you've got mail, and that shoots mail. <laughs> 68 C10. I went for the chassis gear here. I got a custom chassis and air ride, and... That LS. Oh, hi. Goes in there. How are you doing? This is the donor truck for Hannah's truck after mm -hmm. the forklift hit it. Yep. So we took the front end off this truck and put it on her truck. Where do you find these? I don't. I sold this truck two years ago for like seventeen hundred dollars, and uh -huh. then I ran the forklift into hers, and I messaged a kid back. I was like, "Hey, I need that truck back, and what do you want for?" And we went over to his house. And I bought for seven hundred. So, oh, look, thousand dollar profit, yeah. and you got a brand new front end. Yeah. yeah. Sold. I need those. For I something. Want, I just want the chassis. Okay. The motor and, and and that little light up there, I want that too. Now these seats, the leather, they're really nice. Did you happen to see those? Oh yeah, something's gonna break right now. Something's getting ran over. Watch out, Leslie! Don't go anywhere near that first shed. <laughs> Sorry, he's gonna hit your house. Yeah. Don't pick up the, Don't no, pick up the first gen. <laughs> this thing's costing me a lot of money. It's not really making no money either. I thought he got on it, and then I look <laughs> up and realize it's just flying down the driveway, and my truck was at the end of the driveway. So I that truck off my was at the end of the driveway, and, yeah. and the forklift ate it. Mm -hmm. And I cried actually Work. twice. Oh, you gotta talk about the fourth gen. First gen. Oh, this beautiful this is, first gen. Yeah. This is my first gen. Yeah. Uh, it's a '93. 24 by 14 American Forces. So they, these wheels are actually for sale. Throw them on the forklift. That would be dope. Yeah. Grandpa Farrell, if you're seeing this video, I need your wheels for my truck because I am half on it out. Oh, He's, they're going on this? That's what yeah, I'm trying to Like, your grandpa's gangster, and I'm rolling around on stockies because. we're looking <laughs> like the grandpa. All right, we got to skip this one real quick because they have more trucks in the back. Fancy lights that turn on. Come and swap, it's on a first-gen chassis. It's basically the truck you drove in, that's what this is on. Nice. 72 International, 67 Cummins. Low, low. It's... Oh, that is so sick. That's custom intake, the green. The, the green is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for a horsepower. Yeah. That's not the U-Haul truck. <laughs> that's sick. Um, that needs to go... Nice. So then nice. you might be really embarrassed and look back on this and be like, God, why did I... Not clean my yard. This is a U-Haul truck? Yeah. yeah. It's orange. Oh. And. No way. It's 
No, it doesn't. Oh, I was gonna say. Creepy dog. That is scary. Put that away. No! That is kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the size of a house. Yeah, it's literally half yeah. of your house. I want to put a Cummins under this and then live in the front half and then the back half make like a toy hauler. For I want to drive this from, actually, from where you're from. Chicago, Illinois, all the way to California on Route 66. And I have this three-wheel bicycle and that's the end of the tour. <laughs> Can we get a cold start on that? When we bought that, it was yeah. an Amish auction barn. True. The Amish told us, that'd make a great honeymoon bike. We have seven and a half acres. We just literally keep everything on 0.2 acres. Yes. Oh, like. it's cleared. I yeah. have a guy post to come in. He's going to clear all this out. A big building there. And then I do the concrete. Well, it's going to be a while because I don't have my wallet on me, but there's no money in there. You just write mm -hmm. checks and then they bounce after work is done. <laughs> then you're fine. That's what I do. We can try that. After 12 million vehicles, we, we can finally look at the truck that we came here to see. Yeah, this is the truck that we came here to look at. Well, it doesn't look like this anymore. It, it actually looks kind of nice. Not the lawnmower. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's my bean. This is, this is your truck. Yeah, this is it. Where's the 1959 title? Chevy Viking, not an Apache. Nice. Oh, it's got a 24 valve in it and from a 98. Nice, five, five speed. speed. Yeah. yeah, I wanted a six, but for the donor truck, Everything underneath of it, we paid fifteen hundred dollars, and that's you know that's what you time. got. Yeah, that's pretty sick. So when I saw this truck in person, it had black wheels. It didn't have these American forces. But I was like, this is quite possibly the baddest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's sick. I I love it. Uh, where's the title? Put it in my hand and put it in my name, please. Thank you. I'll let you drive it, but that's about all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> the purse matches the truck. That is yeah. so cute. It goes with my nice. It matches your eyes. Oh my god. That's so sick. I had a bag truck for like two days and then I blew it up twice and I got rid of it. But I like this one a lot more than that one. I just can't imagine a more beautiful thing. Like I said, it's amazing to have an ivory again. Wow. Jeez, yeah. That's a compliment. I'm tall. Sick, nasty. Now, um, first is all the way down and over, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. R for race mode? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, I'll make yep. sure to do yeah, it. I'll make sure to get that. I love the sound in here. It's so nice. Well, it you sounds guys like... are not going to be able to talk. <laughs> Good thing I do that for a living. We need motorcycle helmets the kind with like the little we should get like the, the foam for like studios how they yeah. have like the foam we should buy that for in here all righty i think it's a stock second gen what do you mean
just listen to a 24 bomb all the way back over from Canada. The pedals are so close together, they're not made for my I need it. I, actually, I need 12. Can we build 12? They have 12, so I mean. Let's build 12. All right, listen here. Okay. You'll just take Megan, and I will just take this. And then when you get tired of Megan, and I don't get tired of this, I'll just give you cash for this. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I love this truck so much. It, it actually drives very, very nice, and it shifts very, very smooth. Yes, I love it. A lot. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You see the dog? I did see that. Let's go look at a dog. They said, hey, Gabe, you like dogs, right? I swear I just saw one at the, the car show. We got that, and we got that. Hey, Gabe, you like dogs, right? how wide these are. grandma's plate. That is the first spoon that I ever ate with. Um, right, right there, that one. Yep. You can tell just by the way that is. Like and my one. first pair of glasses. That one really. I didn't do that. No, not you. <laughs> That's your spoon. The word you fat. Tree. 